Why does nature prefer spherical shapes? Well, it doesn't always. I mean, um, the sea tends to be f flattish, although it is spheroidal and, and the earth is very large. Um, but um, I think it, it's more dependent on uh, what forces are, more, are involved. So if you're on a very large scale, gravitational forces pull the sun into a spheroidal structure. Um, on a small scale, droplets form, and what pulls them in is surface tension effects. Um, so that uh, when that's strong, um, a sphere is the, I guess, the um, has the smallest surface area for a given volume. So that's what is maximized. So under those extremes, uh, it it becomes uh, a sort of um, a spheroidal structure. In the case of graphite, um, these are flat sheets, but these are locked into the sort of situation they were in the tars from which they were produced. Um, so um, the answer is uh, in those cases where it does prefer prefer spheroidal structures. Um, the forces of nature, surface tension, gravitational forces act to form sphere. Um, in the case of the sun, of course, they're pulling it inwards. That's the best I can do um, uh, to that question. Uh, that's from G. V. Schreus of Bangalore.